Good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, how the hunk are ya? <laughs> yeah, we got a one up Wednesday. That's right. We're looking at this little bugger. Um, yeah, what in the, are we looking at? Well, obviously we're looking at a Defender. If you can't tell that that's a Defender, then you're not a Land Rover fan. Come on. <laughs> Well, I gotta tell you a little story about this. Uh, I got, I had the receipt tucked away in there. And I pulled that out. What do we got? A, what in a Kmart there? Uh, where was the date at? I was looking at. Oh yeah, here you go. Seven eight of seventeen. Yeah, I keep the receipts because I'm weird like that. And uh, I paid. Oh yeah, twenty one bucks for it. Woo! Yeah, well, the story is, this is over in uh, Wapaka. I was uh, over at the Iola Car Show, the big car show in the Midwest, Iola, Wisconsin. Uh, Google that, you'll find out about it. But anyway, I was on my way back home, and I stopped at a Kmart because I had $2 left in my pockets. Obviously, it was $20. Anyway, so I picked this bugger up. I almost didn't. I remember I almost didn't because... Uh, you know, it was so expensive, and it wasn't, you know, per se, a Land Rover. But it makes noise. I don't know if you can hear all that over the music in the background. But uh, the winch works. You pull the winch out there, and then you push the little button, and that goes back in. Yeah, pretty neat. This little bugger here goes down, makes noise. Back end opens up on it. Can't really see too much in there. But uh, just a nice, it's a plastic toy, uh, kind of big, you know. Uh, I would have been uh, happy as a kid to get something like this. Practically uh, 12, 13 inches long, and it's about 8 eight inches, or well, with the luggage rack and all, 8.5 inches tall. So this is a pretty big toy, pretty cool. Outland Patrol. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go, made by... Dicky Toys. Never heard of them before or never heard of them since. But uh, yeah, look at that cargo loading space and noise and lights. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's a defender. If you don't you don't think that's a defender, uh, you, you gotta you gotta go back to rover school. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, just a cool little truck that I had to pick up on my trip around the world, as it would be. Yeah. But uh, do, you, do you do that? Do you buy uh, Land Rover toys that aren't per se branded Land Rover, but look like a Land Rover like this? I mean, uh, you, you know, pretty neat unit, Ot Ot 3. <laughs> Got the snorkel and everything, roof rack. I mean, this is quite a nice little toy. Of course, I'm not going to take it out of the package because this is the only one I've got. Hopefully someday, maybe at a thrift store or Goodwill or something like that, I'll buy a old one that, you know, the kids played with and threw away. But uh, then I can kind of play around with it and maybe put some Land Rover badges on it, huh? Yeah, but just a really cool thing. Uh, I really get excited about uh, non... What would you call that? Non-Hot Wheels and non-main brand toys that are Land Rovers. You know, they... Got some really cool stuff, you know. Um, that I gotta tell you that doing this, I gotta show you something else. And uh, this is another casting that I collect, and uh, it's not a Land Rover, but it sure does look like one. And uh, maybe if you guys want, I can uh, show you that my collection of uh, what is this? The uh, Safari. What is it called? Yeah. Sahara Survivor. Yeah, I've got pretty much every one of those. If you'd like to see a Land Rover, not Land Rover uh, video on those, I collect those because they uh, look like the old SAS Rat Patrol uh, 109 Defenders back in the day. But uh, there you go. I, I Comment below. Do you got a... a one of of a brand name that you don't know about or off brand name stuff do you collect off brand name stuff uh, I'm sure there's a lot out there because uh, Land Rovers sell and toy manufacturers want to make money so they go ahead and they copy them and and stuff like that 
I don't get too crazy, but I, I do pick up stuff every once in a while when I, when I find them, you know, but, uh, yeah, look at the tires. The wheels are even interchangeable. Far out. Well, three years down the road, I haven't seen another one since, so I don't know if I'll ever see another one. <laughs> All right. All right, that's it. I'm gonna wrap this one up for uh, One Up Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. Make sure that you, uh, hey, subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. You gotta just gotta keep on subscribing and telling your friends about this channel. We're just gonna keep growing and doing more stuff. So uh, remember, subscribe if you like to see what uh, we got coming up down the road, and uh, like and share. And comment down below. I like reading the comments down below. So you got to comment down below, and uh, then I can give you a thumbs up. That's right. Go over to Facebook, Roverland, and Instagram, Roverland channel. And those are going to be down in the description, so you can just click on them and check us out there. All right, there you go. Thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, and share. And remember, hit that bell to get notified. And remember, kids... Boys and girls of all ages, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.